Hey, what is up guys? Klaus Next here and welcome to another episode of Fitness Gimmick Friday. The Friday where I rip apart some fitness gimmick that everybody seems to believe works. Today we're going to be talking about the sweatsuit. So sweatsuits are something that people wear when they exercise or when they work out or when they train because they believe or the concept is that as you're wearing this heavy duty suit, um, it keeps your body heat trapped inside and it can't escape. So you start to sweat a lot. It gets very warm. It gets very hot. You're just drenched in sweat. The whole inside of your suit is wet and this is supposed to help you lose weight fast. The alternative to this are the people in the gym that wear, you know, the thick socks, the full sweats, the hoodie with the hood up while they're exercising and doing something that looks like it's super hard and they're like sweating like crazy. It's like, why wouldn't you just wear something more comfortable, something you can move better in, but you know, they're trying to drop some body weight, which is exactly the whole thing about sweatsuits. They're supposed to help you lose weight. Well, the sweatsuit does actually encourage weight loss. It might not be the weight loss that you want it to be. Since you're just sweating so much in this glorified garbage bag, you lose a lot of water and the human body is made up of, you know, roughly 75% water. So you're just sweating your insides out. How much do you think that this cup of water weighs? Glass aside, you know, water's, it's pretty heavy. This is for sure at least a few pounds right here. So if you're able to lose a few pounds with a sweatsuit fast, you're sweating this much fluid out of your body. Now what happens while you're working out? You get thirsty, you start to get dehydrated, especially if you're in a sweatsuit, you're gonna become dehydrated at a much quicker rate. So either you're depriving yourself of water because you're trying to lose water from your body, or you're being a smart person and you're rehydrating yourself. That water that I just sweat out of my body, that weight that I just lost, I just put back on. You see, you see the problem here. By the time you get back from the gym and you have a big glass of water to rehydrate yourself, you put that weight back on. Now I can't just say that it, it's that simple that you just drink a cup of water and it replaces because I don't know how much you in particular are gonna sweat in a sweatsuit compared to me and how much water it takes, but you get the idea. The point is that it's easy to put that weight back on as soon as you start drinking water again. So while I was doing some research into the sweatsuit, I saw some cons that are kind of disturbing. So aside from being largely at risk for dehydration, you're also at risk for heat stroke, which is something that I didn't really consider at first, but that's very possible. You're in this suit that's keeping all your body heat in. Keep in mind, the reason that you sweat is because your body's trying to get you to maintain a core temperature. So you're sweating all this fluid out of your body. That's what the job of water is in your body, or one of their jobs is to regulate temperature. So you're sweating because your body's trying to bring your temperature back down. You put a suit on, that temperature's got nowhere to go. Yeah, of course you're at risk for heat stroke, especially if you're some intense athlete who's going for runs outside in the summer in a sweatsuit. Not only does it sound dangerous, it sounds kind of stupid. Why would you put yourself at such a risk just to lose some water weight? And then of course, if you're losing all that water weight, your electrolytes are going to be all out of whack. You're going to need definitely a lot of those. And how do you get electrolytes back in your body? Usually with some kind of salty food product or drink or Gatorade. If you eat a salty food, you're going to wash it down with some water if you drink some gatorade you're putting water back in your body are you, are you starting to see the contradiction here you see how silly this looks if you think that this is going to help you lose fat faster you have been fooled so there are a couple exceptions that i want to talk about before wrap up the video where a sweatsuit is kind of a functional idea one is if you're training for an environment where it's really hot and you sweat a lot and maybe you're wearing heavy gear for example firefighters firefighters have to do all of their training in their heavy gear and the hot sun and fires it's to get them ready for it that's that's you know if you're trying to build up your endurance and you're trying to get used to passing a firefighter physical test maybe you would want to wear a sweatsuit when you're on a treadmill that makes a little bit more sense or if you're someone who's trying to cut weight fast it doesn't matter what kind of weight because you're trying to you know hit a certain weight class if you're a competing athlete, power lifter, or you're MMA or something like that, and you're trying to get to a certain weight class fast, sweating water, it's a lot easier. It's obviously not the healthiest way to lose weight, but uh, it's definitely something that you'll commonly see. But if you're someone who thinks you can lose fat fast in a sweaty plastic bag, you have been fooled. This fitness gimmick has been gutted. <laughs>